bloomers. This is Kim from Made by Mommy. This is the Hair Loom Studio Double. The Hair Loom Studio, which lets you turn bracelets into braids that you can wear in your hair. Ah! They have the same number of rubber bands in both of the kits, but this one has more looms. We'll open them both up and we'll compare. You can decide what you want, the Rainbow Loom Studio or the Rainbow Loom Studio Double. Okay, it's time to check out the Hair Loom Studio. I've got the single here, which will sell for $8.99, and the double, which will sell for $12.99. So let's open up this single and see what we've got. So this is what comes in your single kit. That's your finger loom, the same as the finger looms you've seen previously, although this one is glittery. Pretty. And we've got beads to put at the end of your hair, a bag of really bright colored rubber bands, a red thing, I don't know what this is yet, a purple hook, a pink thingamabob, and a another pink thingamabob. Oh, okay, so this is our small guide tube, and this is our large guide tube. This is our hook, which is breakable, so be careful with this one. That's the needle, and that's our instructions. One side of the instructions, and the other. Okay, so this red thing is the guide tip. So let's see what comes in the double kit for an extra $4. Cut that open. So the doubles kit, the one thing that stands out to me is this piece right here, which is very different from anything that came in the single kit. We have two of this large guide tube just one of the small guide tubes, so not everything is doubled up. We've got two needles, only one hook. We've got two finger looms, a pink sparkly one and a purple sparkly one. It looks like the same number of rubber bands in the double kit, but we've got the addition of this mysterious object. Those must be the two extension rods. Don't know what those do yet, but I bet we'll figure it out. And the instructions, in this case, are hidden underneath. It is much bigger than the instructions that came with the other one. You get a lot more instructions with the double. Ah, and this shows you what those extension rods are for. It's for working with designs on the regular loom, it looks like. So it looks to me like this double kit does give you the ability to make more elaborate designs using these extension rods. So it's not just that it's doubled, it's that there is actually an extra tool that you can use. Since this is the first video I'm doing on the hair loom, I'm gonna go back to the singles kit and make something from there because that's something you could make using either kit. And let me know in the comments below if you're curious about seeing how these in particular work, the extension rods, and I'll make a separate video about those. So my daughters are off at school right now, so I've recruited Ariel to help me with this tutorial. I'm going to make my very first hair loom using the bands that came in the single kit, and I'm going to put them on Ariel's hair, and we'll see how I do. I am so excited! Yay! So I've picked out four colors that I think will look good in Ariel's hair, and I'm gonna follow their basic instructions from the Heirloom Studio to make a fishtail braid for her hair. Step one is to take a single band and stretch it straight across two sides of your finger loom. Step two is to insert the guide tube 
and hook the band with the catch point, which is that little part that sticks out at the top. Rotate the guide tube so that the band slides down the back side of the tube and then hook the opposite side of the band with the catch point of the guide tube. Rotate the tube again so the band slips behind it. The tube should now be in the middle, like that. And now you're going to lay a band straight across the same two pegs going over that guide tube also. And then add a third band like you would normally do when you're making a fishtail bracelet. And pull the bottom band up and over the post. It says do not pull over the guide tube. So it says the post. Pull the bottom band up and over the peg on the side. Don't do it over the guide tube in the middle like that and then add another band and we're going to continue on like we would for any normal fishtail just basically with this tube stuck in the middle so I'm taking the bottom one up and over and then adding another one on top straight across and over that guide tube And you keep on going until you have the length you want. I'm going to put one more rubber band of each of the colors I'm using. And I've found that it's a little tough to slide down your design. See, it ends up overlapping. But I think it'll work out in the end once I pull it all off. And then the last color. And I think this is long enough for Ariel. I think she'll like this. So the final step, once you have the length that you want, is to take both of the bands that are remaining on the side of your finger loom and stretch them all the way across the post and then do the same with the other side. And you can then remove from the loom. It's going to even it out a little bit because it got a little twisty when I was pushing it down. Okay, so we're putting that hook in on the side with the handle all the way up until it comes out the top. Select a portion of hair and gather with the hook and then pull the hook through the guide tube. Okay, well it appears that I have taken too much hair. So now I'm selecting a smaller portion of the hair and I'm going to pull that down through the guide tube. Now that worked better. And then it says to push the design off the tube onto the hair. So I'm just going to push this bracelet up. Hmm. I'm trying not to block the view. Push all of that off the tube onto the hair. And then it says gently stretch to secure to the hair. So I'm going to stretch. Oh, I see that. You see how it's thinning out? So you don't want to make your design as long as the hair. It should be a little shorter since it gets so much longer once it's on the hair. It's almost doubled in length now. Doesn't Aria look beautiful? So the strand on the hair is much longer than it was on the tube. On the tube, I had about that length. So when you're working on the tube, think about doing only half of the length on the tube that you're ultimately gonna want on the hair. And this is how it looks. It's very pretty. Now, my biggest concern with this was how you take it off. And their suggestions in the instructions to remove bands from your hair by pulling from the top of the design and sliding it down. For even easier removal, use conditioner, which will make it slippery. So they just say you could pull it straight down, which actually seems to be the case. Uh, it's coming off really easy. It's not breaking any of the hairs. But if you're at all worried about it breaking, 
hair. Another thing you could probably do is just come in here and cut a few of the rubber bands. And then I imagine it would unravel quite simply. I like this a lot better than I thought I was going to. So this kit for $8.99, I think it's fun. Uh, if you have a young girl who would want to wear a design like this in her hair to match whatever she's wearing, it's as simple as making a fishtail. It's not much more work than that, and putting it on the hair was very easy as well. It looks like it will slide out quite simply without catching or breaking any hairs. So I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and let me know in the comments below if there's anything else in particular you'd like me to try doing with this heirloom while you're deciding whether or not to buy it. And thank you as always for watching. I look forward to looming with you again soon. Bye bye